This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name's Alexa Ray. And welcome to another video. Welcome to a Twisted book review video. I am so excited to be sitting here today talking to you guys about the Twisted series by Anna Hong. I have been getting so many questions about these books over the past few months. You guys know if you follow me over on Goodreads and Instagram. I've been working my way through the series now since I want to say like early August and I am obsessed with it to say the least and I have just finally completed the series literally like a few days ago I finished book four in the series I decided to sit down with you guys today and do a little book review with you and really just go over every book individually and a series as a whole I know there are so many like mixed reviews out there about the series some people really really love the series and other people think it's like the worst book series ever so I thought it'd be super fun but also very helpful to those of you out there who maybe haven't read the series yet in deciding if you want to give it a try or if you don't want to give it a try. In today's video, we are going to go through every single book in the Twisted series. There's four of them total. I'm just going to briefly talk about each storyline, the characters, the tropes, stuff like that. And we're also going to cover things that people like about the books as well as things that people don't like about the books because I really want to give you guys a full and honest review of them so you can decide if you want to read them yourself. This is going to be spoiler free just because, again, I kind of want to help those of you out there who maybe haven't read the series yet decide if you want to give it a try or maybe just realize that the books might not be for you. But that is what we are going to be doing today. I am super, super excited. This is one of my favorite book series of 2022. It's some of my favorite books of 2022. So, so I'm excited to dive in to the twisted world and talk about all the things that I personally love, but also dive in to other people's opinions on why they don't like the books and stuff like that. So with all that being said, let's jump in to the book review. Before we jump in to the Twisted book review, I just want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace makes it super easy for creators and educators to monetize their content in a way that fits their brand. You already know from previous videos of mine how obsessed I am with Squarespace. I have created my own online book blog that I am just so obsessed with. And basically what I do is I use my book blog sort of like a reading journal. I'll go in and add books that I finish throughout the month and I'll add reviews, ratings, opinions. So this book blog is really cool because I can go in and kind of add some extra book content for you guys that maybe you missed over on my channel, my Instagram, stuff like that. My 2022 reading goal is to read 50 books and we are 70% through, which is so crazy to think about. That's another major reason why I love having a book blog because it really helps me keep track of all the books I've read this year. With member areas, you're able to unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like classes, online courses, or newsletters. You're also able to gain powerful insights into who's visiting your site as well as how they're interacting with your content, which I think is such a cool tool because it really helps me out as a content creator to kind of see what you guys really like and don't like, and then it allows me to just put out better content for you. Their analytics tools include page views, traffic sources, time on site, most read content, audience geography, and more. Last but not least, one of my favorite features of using Squarespace is I'm able to directly connect my social media accounts to my website so I can link my Instagram. Instagram, YouTube, Goodreads, and just all my social medias. I love that feature because it makes it so easy for you guys to just find more of my book content. You guys can head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexa to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's get in to the book review. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go book by book, briefly talk about each like storyline, each book couple, the tropes, things I liked, things I didn't like, and then at the end of it we're gonna rate the series as a whole and basically pick out which book was my favorite. So book one in the Twisted series is Twisted Love. Tells the story of Ava and Alec. This is a grumpy meets sunshine trope and a enemies to lovers trope. Ava is the younger sister of Josh Chen, who is best friends with Alex Volkov. Josh decides to take a spontaneous, I think he takes like a week or two week trip. He basically asks his best friend Alex to overlook Ava while he's gone. He's super, super protective of his little sister just because they don't have like the best coming up, the best family background. So he's always 
always just kind of taken on that like parent role. Josh also only trusts Alex because he trusts that like Alex would never try anything on Ava, whereas all his other friends probably would try something on her. So that's why he asked him. Right in the beginning of the book, we get a lot of the enemies to lovers scenes. Alex and Ava get on each other's nerves. They really, they don't get along. They disagree on so many things. And once Josh leaves, Alex obviously takes on that protective role. He's looking over Ava, making sure she doesn't get into trouble. But Alex is also a like huge workaholic. He is the CEO of his own company. So he's juggling work and also trying to look over Ava while Josh is gone. And basically the whole story revolves around them just like getting closer, stuff like that. Except there's one major thing that Alex is hiding throughout the entire story. He has this massive secret. I just did not see the plot twist in this coming. The secrets that came out about Alex were just so, so not what I was expecting, I guess. But nonetheless, this book did start a huge addiction in me because I immediately went out and bought the next three books in the series. I instantly fell in love with this. I fell in love with the characters, the storyline. I just loved everything about this. As I mentioned, it's a Grumpy Meets Sunshine and an Enemies to Lovers trope. It's also like the brother's best friend trope. I love the dangerous bad boy vibe that Alex gives off. And I also love how like protective he is of Ava. It's one of my favorite things in books. And then of course, very briefly in this book, we do get to meet the other three best friends of Ava that the other books actually revolve around. Like I said, I absolutely love this book. I did give it five stars. Once I started reading the other books in the series though, I wouldn't change my rating on this book or my opinions because I really do love this book and it did start like my love addiction for the rest of the series. But I will say it was a very short book. I do think it was cut very short. There's a huge time gap that we definitely skip over that I wish we just had more detail on. That is one thing to look out for when reading book one. It does seem a little bit rushed and like very fast. I would say that the enemies to lovers trope also isn't as strong as I typically would like. I feel like Ava and Alex hated each other for just a few chapters, which I loved. Don't get me wrong. I just kind of wish there was a little bit more of the enemies to lovers trope in here because it really didn't last that long. I think even if it went another 60 pages and we hit like 400 pages total, I really think this would have been a little bit better if we just got more detail. Nonetheless, I did love this book. Ava and Alex are one of my favorite book couples. Even though the other books revolve around other couples, we still see glimpses of Ava and Alex throughout every book. We do revisit the characters throughout every book and I really love that. I really love that they all connect to each other and they all kind of follow like one big storyline, which is super cool. Book two in the series is Twisted Games, and this is Bridget's story. Bridget is one of the best friends of Ava, and she is a real life princess of this cute little country. This is another enemies to lovers, grumpy meets sunshine trope. Basically what happens in this is Bridget's bodyguard takes leave for a while because he has to go back home. His wife is having a baby, so he takes leave. Bridget is then given a new security guard who is like top of the line, one of the best in the world. He's super badass. And and right off the bat, Bridget and this bodyguard do not get along. They do not like each other, mainly because Bridget thinks he's a little bit too overbearing, a little bit too overprotective. She finds that she can't do a lot of the things she was doing before with the other bodyguard because this bodyguard is just more strict than the past one. And this book mostly revolves around the transition that Bridget is taking to become queen of her country after her brother basically gives up his crown for love. Throughout all the craziness that is happening in her royal life, she starts to create this type of bond with Rise because he's the only person that she's really with 24 7. Eldorian Law basically forces her to marry before she can take the crown so she's on the search for a husband. This book kind of gave me Princess Diary vibes because I know that's what happens in the Princess Diaries too with Anne Hathaway. She has to find a husband in order to take the crown even though she feels like she shouldn't have to do that. She shouldn't have to be married to a man to take on the crown and to lead her country. So we do have an enemies to lovers trope in here but we also have a little bit of a forbidden love trope in here. We briefly meet Christian Harper who is Rai's boss. Christian Harper comes in in book four. This was another amazing read. I gave it five stars. I loved the tropes. I loved everything about it. I really enjoyed this because it was like that princessy type of feel. There also was just so much more detail in this. There wasn't like a huge time jump like in the first book. There's definitely more details, more filler in there and I feel like at the end of the book, I was definitely more satisfied with the ending than in the first one. 
So Twisted Hate is book three in the Twisted series. This tells the story of Josh Chen and Jules Ambrose. Josh is the older brother of Ava that we briefly get to meet in book one. Jules, we also briefly meet in book one and two. She's another best friend of Ava. These two characters, <laughs> they hate each other. Reading about their hate for one another almost made me uncomfortable because I'm like, wow, these characters hate each other. This is an enemies to lovers trope at its finest, if you'd ask me I think it is one of the best enemies to lovers books I have ever read because again they hate each other so hardcore in this book so Josh is starting to be a doctor Jules is studying to become a lawyer Josh has always viewed Jules kind of as just like a bad influence on his little sister so that's kind of where his hatred stems for Jules and then Jules has a hatred for Josh because she knows that he's like judged her in the past and kind of looks at her like a bad influence so that's basically where their hatred stems from. I love watching Josh and Jules kind of go from enemies to lovers. It's just a super like bumpy transition that I feel like you don't typically see in other enemies to lovers books because even once they do become lovers they still have like this underlying hatred for one another and they still mess with each other, tease each other, stuff like that. The main story in this is really just Josh and Jules kind of being thrown in situations together where they're forced to be together and we kind of watch as their hatred fades away and they turn from enemies to lovers. Jules is hiding some deep dark secret. She comes from a really weird past and she's trying to keep it a secret from Josh because she doesn't want him to judge her as much as he already has and she does have some people from her past show up that kind of creates a lot of problems for her and a lot of problems for her relationship with Josh. I really enjoyed this book. It was another five star read for me. It's not my favorite twisted couple I have to say. Josh and Jules have a really cute relationship, a really cute story, but it was a little bit too, too like basic. Nonetheless, this was still like a really, really good book. I thought the storyline was crazy. It definitely had me on my heels the whole time. We also get a glimpse into book four in this one as well. In the beginning of this book, Jules is actually moving into a new apartment with Stella, who is fourth and final friend of Ava that book four actually revolves around. They actually wind up moving into an apartment building because of Rai's Larson. In. He put in a good word to his boss, Christian Harper, who happens to own this gorgeous apartment building, and Christian basically cuts Jules and Stella like a huge deal on the apartment. So I thought that was like a super cool add-in. And then going from book three, we immediately go in to Twisted book four, which is Twisted Lies. This tells the story of Stella Alonzo and Christian Harper. Christian is very similar to Alex in this book. He's a super badass, dangerous, billionaire CEO of like the best security company in the world. He meets Stella who is a huge fashion influencer. This is the only book in the series that is not an enemies to lovers trope. It's actually a fake dating trope and what happens is Stella is very close to hitting a million followers on Instagram and she's trying to figure out a way to hit that milestone. Her and her manager decide that maybe if she got into a relationship, it would maybe help boost her follower count. Stella entertains the idea of getting a fake boyfriend, launching a fake relationship on her Instagram. Cue in Christian Harper, who weirdly offers to be a part of this and be her fake boyfriend in return for her to water and take care of his plants. Another major part of this book is Stella's stalker. Once Christian hears about this, he immediately goes into like protective mode and he wants to protect Stella at all costs. And then of course, like Alex Alex Volkov. Christian Harper has a lot of dark secrets and a very, very dark past that he kind of keeps from everybody. I think that's a really beautiful part of this story, how they really put a lot of trust in each other after never trusting anyone having like such bad pasts. We also get to see the other three book couples reappear in book four and we get little glimpses into what their lives are like. I absolutely love that, that we're able to kind of like get updates on the other couples still. Out of all four books in the Twisted series, I would have to say my favorite book is definitely Twisted Lies, the story of Christian and Stella. This book was a very long book. It was about 560 pages. So with that being said, there was so much to this. There was a lot of detail, a lot of background, a lot of explanation. I got everything I could have wanted out of this book. I really wish that Twisted Love was as big as Twisted Lies because I feel like if it had like the same amount of detail that Twisted Lies does, it would be like my all-time favorite 
favorite book forever. This was such a good storyline, but it was just super rushed. Nonetheless, Twisted Lies was absolutely amazing. I am obsessed with Christian and Stella. They're probably my favorite, favorite book couple out of the series, although I do love like all the other book couples. There's just something so special about their relationship. That is all for my Twisted review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope I was able to give you guys like a pretty good understanding of the books and the book series as a whole. Sometimes it's hard when I do book reviews, especially like a full book series review because I feel like I just kind of ramble on and on about certain things that I really liked in the books instead of giving like an overall review of the whole book. So I hope I was able to help you guys in deciding if you wanted to try the series out or if you wanted to continue the series. I really do think that if you weren't that into Twisted Love to still give Twisted Games a try because I do think it was a little bit better just because it was a little bit longer and we get more detail, more filler. I wouldn't give up the series entirely if you didn't like book one because just like TV shows, the first book in a series isn't always the best, but the series overall is totally worth it. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite book series of 2022. They were all five star reads for me. I just really love the enemies to lovers, the fake dating trope. The whole series really revolves heavily around those tropes, so I knew I was going to love this series just based off the tropes. If you've read this series, make sure to comment down below who your favorite book couple is, what book was your favorite, why it was your favorite. I am still very set on Twisted Lies being my favorite book, being my favorite book couple, and then I would probably probably say my least favorite book out of the series would be Twisted Hate, even though I absolutely loved it. It was a five star read. Definitely let me know down below if you've read the series, what your thoughts and opinions are on it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. Let's me know that you like these types of videos. You like my book reviews, my book shopping vlogs, my TBRs, my wrap ups, all that super fun book related content. And then of course, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you'd like to see more of me because I post every single week, sometimes I post more than once a week, more than twice a week, kind of just depends on like how crazy life is at the moment. But I try to post as often as I can for you guys because I love hanging out and just talking about books with you. But I hope I was able to give you guys a pretty good insight into the series, hopefully change your mind about trying it out. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.